and welcome to the show. Welcome back to the long drive where I have just seen the speediest rabbit in existence. That is of massive concern. Bloody hell, that can seriously move. Um, hopefully that was a one-time thing and we don't see speedy rabbit. No, well, I can. I don't actually know what the range is like on this gun. Don't know what like the drop, like the bullet drop is, if there is even bullet drop in this. Uh, oh, I think I got the sand behind it. That thing is alarmingly fast. If that heads our way, it has keeled over. Uh, let's not fight that, basically. Oh, okay. So whenever I reload the game, whenever you load the game back up, having saved, it generally reloads the building if you buy a building. Uh, which this one here apparently has done. There's sponges, there's some bits of bodywork around. Uh, there is some more bits of bodywork around in here. Uh, that's... oh wait. What is up here? Is that a bed? Was a bed. Uh, there's a katana on the roof. Uh, there is a light and so on. There's bits and pieces around here, but importantly it's reloaded me a trailer, uh, which is fantastic news. Uh, I don't trust you, rabbity bugger. Uh, let's reload you fully. Where have you gone? Oh god, it's really difficult to see. Don't run into the darkness. Run into the light, please. Uh, nope, missed that one. <laughs> Luckily I've got a couple hundred bullets. I don't go to sleep because I don't... Oh god, it's so fast. Oh no, it died again. It seems to me that they can they use warp speed, but they only have a couple of seconds of warp speed before they keel over and die. So, I guess we're okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that. That seems, that seems different and a bit glitchy and not very pleasant. So, yeah. Uh, right, down. Oh, don't break your legs. How is that? Oh, shovel. Uh, there are some new weapons, I believe, added. I guess an AK had been added to this, so we might actually be able to get a full-on automatic rifle. Um, we are sadly not going to be using the estate car, uh, for those that wanted it. I did kind of like the idea of using the estate car, however, uh, it is a two-stroke. Now, while yes, you can swap the engines in the vehicles, of course you can, uh, there is a problem in that the two strokes do not let you put a radiator. The cars that come as two strokes from standard don't have a mounting point for the radiator. So it would never be able to be run, it would overheat very quickly. Uh, it's not a good idea, basically. Shall we put hubcaps? Shall we be fancy? We'll be fancy, we'll have some hubcaps on our trailer. I'm delaying the inevitable job that I'm going to have to do, which is the whole um, transfer some diesel over. So sadly, we are going to leave the trailer behind. The big trailer. Good old Wigglesworth. It did well, but it was hindering progress so much. So we're going to swap. It happens that we've loaded in with a nice shiny trailer that I can actually do useful things with. Um, oh god, like roll it over. Nope, go back over. Back onto your wheels. Oh! That is not how physics works. We can kind of steer it. <laughs> Yes, we are... I mean, everybody knows we are the best at breaking the physics. Wait, can I strong enough to hold the trailer? Uh, nope. <laughs> now break on. I didn't expect it to work, but I was curious. Uh, I was curious indeed. Uh, right, so... Let's go and get the engine out of here. Let's put... So this is our backup engine, because you always need a backup engine. Uh, can we? I've really got to be careful. I'm going to get eaten by rabbits. I can just... Actually, you know what? I don't even have to do this because I can uh, reverse the car around and attach it to the trailer that way rather than trying to lift the trailer out. So that's full of gas. That's not essential, but I'm going to take it with me just in case. Uh, this is empty. So we're going to fill you up with diesel from here. Now, one thing I have learnt... Uh, is that the barrels, I don't know whether this was changed recently or if I just never came across it before, but a barrel, if it is full, I can't actually pick it up. I don't know how much we can get in here before the game counts it as full. Oh, I'm going to take the door off, aren't I? Yep, now the barrel fell out. Uh, but with the weight mechanic of this, I basically can't lift a full barrel. I don't know whether there's any way you can, anything you can do to lift full barrels, but I don't know whether, yeah, I don't know whether that changed recently, but you can't. So... We'll not fill that one there up to full. Uh, right, open that. 
if we can we open this just a little bit like that maybe and then no uh bring it this way there we go right and then we can open the taps up fully drain the diesel check for rabbits while it's draining into there try and not pour diesel all over the wasteland not that it really matters uh, we'll try we'll try and be good and not uh, waste too much diesel up oh, off is that full yep sweet we will bring this we'll fill up the car uh yeah fill up the tank we'll take as much of the we'll, we'll use as much of the diesel as i can also thank you to the people that told me how to do this so i can actually see what i'm filling how much we are filling up a tank of something i press tab and it like equips it so that you can have, put it in the center of the screen so you can look at what you're it's not perfect i can't see how much i have in the thing that i'm using for example but it's it means i can keep track better and i will take that I'm a little concerned for rabbits, though, so we're just going to check. Uh, especially those speedy ones, because they can come out of nowhere and get me. Out of nowhere and get me really easily. Alarming thought for us all. Um, but there we go. Right, a couple more litres, and it is now full of the diesel. Awesome. That's going to fall over, but never mind. Everything else can stay in there that's in the boot at the moment. We've got tyres and all sorts of spares, which is fine. Uh, I think that hopefully i don't know how i don't know what the collision detection is like whether if it's just pouring onto the surface anywhere or whether we have to be really accurate with this uh, so okay here's a test it's very clearly not in the okay so just as long as it's like on the um hitbox as long as it's on the item it will fill it that's fine uh yeah we'll go to about 60 meters i don't i, said, I don't know at what point it goes beyond the point of carrying exactly but to save myself a bit of time we'll go with six i know i can pick it up at 60 basically uh, and then we can load it into the trailer and then we should be good to go really i think it's crossed and everything uh come on and we'll fill up the other jerry can as well just in case i don't know what we're, what we're going to need how it's going to go anything like that um we will see and stop and oh I'll drop my mouse by accident slightly. Turn that off. Rabbity bugger. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. That's I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. It is loaded. I check I haven't ran into another one. Where is it? It's by all my diesel. Are they attracted to diesel? <laughs> Where did you go? can hear it. Is that it? Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I swear sometimes I can climb up stuff and sometimes I can't. Sometimes like, you can jankily jump your way up. That, I think, was the one that was running around like a lunatic and died. Was that the one that was just following me and is keeled over? Is it stuck in the building? They're so glitchy that it's really difficult to know whether they've just died on their own or terrifyingly hidden. I just feel like they can probably get me on the roof of the car. Definitely do not like this one bit. I'll say that much. Alright, let's drop everything. Can I pick up this barrel? Yes. Okay, not very easily. But... You can carry the barrel as long as I'm careful with my movements we can put the barrel in there jobs are good un. right let's go and fill up the jerry can with some diesel uh, is that working yep okay pour out the diesel i mean we can't take it all with us we'll just leave the trailer here i guess for the next traveler the next traveler they can uh, find it and continue onwards uh, whoop, they can use my diesel. That's fine. Uh, stop. Okay, we haven't actually wasted too much that time. That is all good. We'll stick you in the trailer. Sure, why not? Actually, no, maybe we won't. We'll put you in the boot of the car because if we lose the trailer, for example, at least we will still have some backup diesel. Sounds like a solid plan, really, if you ask me. I should really check for rabbits before I go try and attach the trailer here, but... Uh, oh, dear. That's not gone well. I was hoping that was going to be less janky than that. Okay. It, it spat some stuff out, but we can pick this back up and we can...
place it back in the trailer, can't we? That's fine. Uh, check for... I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> I'm going on the roof, I'm going to shoot a rabbit, and then we will worry about continuing onwards with this journey, okay? I don't trust it. We've seen how fast the damn things can now move. Oh, missed that shot. Oh, it's running away. Still don't trust it. Ah, I'm terrible shot. Come on, how many bullets does it take? A lot. This is one tough rabbit. Now it is heading towards us. Uh, this is concerning. That so many bullets have gone on. It's not even heading... Oh god, there's another one behind us. Jeez, a cat was just clambering around on the desk behind the monitor. And I literally, as I heard clonking, I think from in the game, I think something was probably glitching out, to be honest, with all the, like, stuff in this shack. Which has now become, like, rabbit survival simulator on the roof of this building. Why are you not dying anymore? Like, legit, why are you not dying? What is it going to take? Have these got... Oh, there we go. Well, that one at least did something. I just thought maybe I should take the katana. Maybe we should be hitting stuff with the bloody swords. I feel like that's a risky strategy to go for, but maybe. Maybe we should. Uh, can I grab the barrel and then can we go? I feel like this is what we got to do. Oh, this is really dangerous. That rabbit is quite a long way away. Right, we're just going to load this up and then we're just going to run. We're just going to stick this in the car. We're going to go. We're going to not worry about anything. I believe that is the best plan. For us. Uh, in. In. Car on. Please all work. Let's go, 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 go. We're off. I don't like that place anymore. To speed, look at this. We're doing 80, 90, we're doing 100 kilometers. Oh, it's kind of died it out a bit at 100 kilometers an hour. But we're doing 100 kilometers and I have full control of my faculties. That is rare. It's a little bouncy. Might have been a rock. It's fine. We can keep an eye on the stuff in the trailer. We can look in the rearview mirror in case things go wonky there. We can keep an eye on driving and I can actually go flat out without concerns of randomly veering off the road. That is very nice, actually. Uh, I do I do like that a lot. I hope I put good tires on the trailer. We kind of left it a hurry. I mean, I, in an ideal world, maybe I would have nicked all the wheels off the trailer and kept them. We've got plenty of wheels. We've got plenty of the repair spray thing, so... If shenanigans goes on, we should be able to keep the car going. I don't know whether this game lets a vehicle be three-wheel drive. Let's say weird set of circumstances, you hit a rock and destroy a wheel, but you can't find the wheel that pings off. I don't know whether the game lets a three-wheel vehicle drive. I mean, in theory, it would work. I mean, it, it would destroy the car. In reality, it would drive for a little while, but you would be breaking the corner, scraping that corner on the floor, but I don't know what the game reckons to that as, a, as an idea. Um, whether the vehicles have to be complete for it to move or something. Who knows? Maybe we'll probably find out at some point, knowing my luck. Uh, but we are certainly going along. Now, I did read a tip from a few people in the previous video suggesting putting bus wheels on the back of the car. That would probably screw up my trailer now, but I the suggestion was it changes the gearing, now, just the gearing to allow the vehicle to go faster. I don't know how much of this is the trailer not letting us go quickly. Uh, and then the weight of everything that we have going on. I, I feel like there's a fine line between, yes, I want to have speedy, speedy car. Of course I do. But I do also want to have a... Uh, like, carry some stuff with us, because it would be very easy for us to, to do something silly. It seems like fuel isn't as big of a problem as I expected it to be. Uh, once you find, you know, a container ship and so on, the amount of fuel we've got now should keep us going for a long time. The car 
here is only going to sip little bits of diesel. I don't know how bad it gets if you have the actual trucks and that sort of thing. I do not know, but uh, hopefully we will find out. You know, that is the goal. I will probably put the bus engine in the truck. I think that is generally the better way to go. Uh, we might have to because we might find it. We might, you know, we might find a vehicle that doesn't have an engine. It's quite likely, to be honest, that we're going to come across that. Um, we we will see basically uh, what what might happen to all of this. There's a lot of rocks in the road here that is concerning. We definitely do not want to hit those. They will ruin our day. Not much else that we're seeing around here, really. It's just a nice Sunday drive, if you will, or whatever day of the week it might be. I can't see anything around of any interest. As soon as I start moving the camera around, I wander all over the road like a lunatic. <laughs> it's not so helpful. Uh, yeah, what are we going to find anything fun we, we ideally ideally we wanting to find a restaurant I think that seems to be the places that has the best loot uh, because well it's a restaurant uh, oh is that something up ahead it looks like it doesn't it over there uh, it could be it looks like a building of some sort shall we just bring the car under control a little bit yeah it looks like a petrol station God, for a second I thought there was a rabbit, but now, oh, maybe we hit a rock. Something just spun up the tyres. Oh, the trailer's got a wobble going on. Let's bring you under control and panic and panic and slow, slow into the petrol station. Here we go. Uh, there is, oh God, it, it wanted to go in reverse very badly. Let's just stick the uh, handbrake on. All right, petrol station. I mean, we're going to have a look for any fun gubbins. Uh, brush to remove rust. That's not too bad a thing. We'll certainly pick it up. There is a one truck wheel. Uh, I wanted to try and get somewhere safe to sleep. Ah, bright sunshine. Um, which is normally the roof of something. I just don't trust those pesky rabbits. Uh, well, we'll sleep in the car for tonight. You can sleep anywhere, but I... You can occasionally the rabbits glitch through stuff, but... I'm just going to try and play it as safe as I can. No unnecessarily stupid deaths. Here we go. It's morning. Nice and early. We can get out of the car. Uh, right. Can we... Janky jump? Yes. No. Janky jump. Janky jump. Hey! <laughs> right. One truck wheel. That's our new goal, is to find the truck wheels for the car. Um, oh, it's a horrible turd shed. I'm not sure I'm worried about two litres of fuel, to be honest with you. Um, we've got enough gas if we ever have to resort to a backup gas engine, but is there any point carrying an extra two litres of it? Not really. Um, right, truck, truck slash bus wheel and tyre. Into the trailer of goodness you go. Check for rabbits, because I've got to rejig my trailer of goodness. Um, Alright. Here we go. That can go in like so. Perfect! Right. I think we're I think we're done here. There was just... There's nothing really here. There's a bike wheel, but no tyre. There's a plastic bumper, but I actually like the chrome ones I've got on my car as it is. I don't know what I heard, or if I'm just going mad. So, we're just going to jump back in the car. Uh, did that door shut? I think so. Alright, we will take the handbrake off, and we are underway once more. So we've got a little bit more weight, nothing crazy in this. Oh, stop janking! Why did that happen? Why did that happen? <laughs> Answer me, for God's sake, game. Uh, I don't know what was janking to cause that. Once we get going, it's fine. I mean, I'm probably loading the trailer up badly, but I don't really know how the game works, to be honest with you. I uh, don't know why that janked about and screwed us. The back of the car is quite low, I do agree, uh, but it shouldn't be doing that. The physics shouldn't just lead to a random roll. And uh, spat the jerry can of gas out. Yeah. 
I mean, this is probably the the karma for leaving Wigglesworth behind. All trailers, all future trailers, shall be glitchy and useless. Uh, all right, let's turn you around. Maybe we're just shuffling the weight about. He's going to unjank it. I wonder if you can put trailers on the bus wheels. I would imagine you could. I see no reason why not. Everything else can. I guess... When would that make sense? Perhaps if you... had... a truck and no other options. You try and attach the little trailer to the back of the truck. The tow bar's probably going to be way too high. So maybe you could put the little trailer on truck wheels to give it the right sort of ground clearance? I don't know. Super speedy rabbit incoming! Whoa! Super speedy rabbit! I was expecting that to be well in front of me and it was not. It hit the edge of the road and stopped. Um, that, that is alarming, to say the least. <laughs> so I don't really want to run over the rabbits uh, intentionally because sometimes they can glitch your vehicles out and send them across the map. So we're going to try and avoid that. Uh, also, other thing people did say, you can drive this game from third person if you wish. Now, oh god. The reason why I am not going to be is I feel like I'm more likely to crash into rocks from third person. Okay. Car. Calm down. We got like 120 kilometers. Apparently we're faster on dirt than we are on tarmac. What is this? How does that work? What? No, now it's suddenly just picked up speed. It would go to 120 and now it's dying again. What is going on with this engine? Slash car, why does it occasionally randomly bounce? That is the ghost of Wigglesworth. It's every so often comes along and pokes us to give us issues, I think. Uh, I am curious as to why it suddenly did get to 100. It was just bolting along and then just, just stopped. That's weird. Oh. It's like, it's, oh, maybe there is something like rubbing on the wheels in the boot or something unhappy. Something's not quite right with the car. I'll say that much. It's never what you want. You never want to have to be worried about that. However, it is what is going on here. It's fine, I'm sure. Uh, let's just go to the next... Whatever next building location we can get to. I'm hoping, as I said, I'm really hoping to find one of those restaurants again. Because there's so much loot there. Uh, admittedly, as I said, we don't really need much stuff. Uh, kind of, We kind of want the truck for the carrying capacity. You know, we can fit everything in there. We could have the truck. We could have a backup bike that will go into, I think, the back of the truck kind of area. Uh, and then just fill it full of other stuff. It could be really good. Could is the optimum word, though. Uh, we have got to find one first. And if we even find one, we've got to have find one with working bits. We should have enough to make one work. Unless it's missing all of its wheels. That will be the one killer. Is that I can't carry. We've got one truck wheel. So if we find something missing an engine, that's fine. We can stick an engine in. I mean, I guess we could drive a truck on car wheels, but I feel like that would be janky as anything until we got... I'd do it. L like, <laughs> thinking out loud, I'd 100% still do it because we do want that truck. But ideally... Uh, ideally we find it with wheels because I can put the engine and make the engine work. That's no problem if it's missing that. But yeah, we shall wait and see what might happen. My car does steer slightly. I'm not having to really steer around this left-hander. My car does pull slightly to the left. I don't know why. Do I spy something in the distance? There's something definitely rendered in. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Calm, calm, calm down, car. Oh, let's just jank our way across the sand. Are we legit faster on dirt? No. So this is some weird thing every so often. It allows me to pick up speed like here. Oh, but we struggle massively for control. Okay, so it definitely looks like there is something over that way. Does it look like there's something over there? Is that a ship? I think that is a boat. There is a boat a very long way off the road down there. There is a building over there is more interesting. I've got more than enough fuel. I don't really have much more in the way of space for fuel. So I'm not so fussed about the ship at the moment. God, car. Oh, it, it's almost like slightly forgot that it was supposed to be limited just to 100 kilometers an hour, and then it panics and goes, oh no, wait, you're not supposed to be doing that. And it just slows you down very gradually. There's another boat actually further along on the road, so there's no. I'm not going to go all the way off to the left to try and find that. Whoa, boat! Why have we flipped there? What has happened? Um.
Why did that happen? Anybody know? Oh, wait, I should have turned my car off. Um, can we turn you off? How on earth has that occurred? Oh, no, that's not... I've made modern art. <laughs> Thank you, Glitchy. <laughs> Did I get rocked? Did I hit that? No, that's fallen out of my car. And that was one of the little can things. Um, how does one write the trailer? That's the next question. Can I just like... Jank it! Oh, God! Yes, okay, it's janked back onto its wheels. Everything is awesome. Not terrifyingly scary. No, 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 not that one. Uh, maybe whatever janked out of the boot now means this is going to stop janking about so much. I kind of want to put the boot stuff in the trailer, but I know if I do and we have another flippy, we're just going to spew important bits everywhere. So, like, I kind of want to bring everything with us, but... Oh yeah, I kind of want to dump everything into the trailer, but I know that there's a chance then we're going to lose stuff. The big things you'll find, but it's going to lose a whole bunch of the little... Surely the little stuff shouldn't cause this. But, you know. Games be weird and all that. Uh, can we just stick that over there so I can make a nice space for the barrel? Which I'm going to drive to because I don't trust the rabbits. I don't like the, 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 the carrying of the stuff takes so long that I think I would rather drive the car over here than risk carrying it with rabbits around. Uh, I know this is unbelievably like over the top and everything, but it's worth it for the safety. <laughs> That's what we're going for here. Safety first, otherwise we will be eaten by rabbits. Uh, that one there is a little bit closer than I would have liked. Oh, okay. This is the oil. This is the one that actually does have oil in it, so kind of useful to keep that with us. Right. Into car. Shut door. Get the car on. Please do not do any more random flips. Just let me get to this little petrol station. Uh, okay, it actually doesn't look like there was a car here if things had gone horrifically. Oh, wow, there are two cars here. Holy crap. Not what we wanted, but that's kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> it's good to know if we had actually completely broken our car, if it had got completely stuck. That's got some oil in it. Uh, right, do we have anything fun times in here? It doesn't really look like it. There's some spray bottles. Ooh! Okay, we have got a gun. That is really, really good news. Here, there's some engines, some bits and pieces. I don't think there'll be anything on the roof. Um, okay, cool. Ah, we might be able to make that uh, divider in the boot of the, or the back of the trailer. That's got some gas, not much. Now, I'm going to ask a very stupid question here. How do I put the gun away? So this is one of the reasons why I have always been keeping... Okay, that works quite effectively. Uh, <laughs> um, that works very effectively, actually, to the down. But yes, uh, my question is going to be, how do I put the gun away now? Because I don't necessarily want the gun out at all times, but I want to keep it on the hotbar. There might be a way to do it, but I don't want to have to be rooting around with a loaded gun the whole time, you know, for obvious reasons. I'm just curious to see what these things have got. Um, that is full of gas and oil and diesel. That's a horrible contraption. Um, I don't know whether these can actually come with, like, parts in them or something. No, it's not really... I mean, they might be able to, for all I know. Uh, but there we go. So we've got some bike wheels. Wait, hold on. <gasps> how do I... How do I know? How do I... How do I see the cowboy hat? This is... Never mind. Never mind anything else. Do we... Close that. See? <gasps> Yes! Our apocalypse is complete. We have a cowboy hat. Life is good. I don't know if I can go to third person while I'm out of the car. Um, but yeah, I kind of don't want to carry around a gun because I'm just going to end up wasting all of my bullets accidentally shooting stuff. So if there is a way to, like, put the gun away but still have it on the hot bar, like, I, I don't know. If there is, do let me know. Uh, because otherwise something's going to have to go in the boot. It'll probably be the revolver because it's got three bullets left and I think I lost all my ammo. 
it doesn't really look like there is ammo in there. Um, okay. Well, this does seem to be as good a replace as any for which to leave this at. Um, just slide slowly off the roof. We have transferred our diesel over. Our car is actually looking pretty sorted. Our car is looking pretty set for this. The engine is working well. It does occasionally glitch out randomly, which is a little bit alarming, but there we go. That's kind of what we're dealing with here. We've found some more vehicles. I've never seen two cars. Pretty much two complete cars. Actually, okay, curiosity time. What does this have in terms of stuff in it? It's empty. Okay, that's kind of to be, I guess, expected. Um, and now there's got the weird mixture of stuff. They're both the air-cooled cars. Um, but yeah, that's not for us. We do not need that. We haven't found a truck yet. Um, just in case there's like an AK in there. There wasn't. <laughs> we haven't found... We only found one truck wheel, so I can't modify the back of my car how I wanted to. Uh, but it is working infinitely more drivable. Progress has been made if a smidge glitchy and rabbits are now terrifying monstrosities. Although the revolver will at least make one more a little easier to deal with. After that, we're going to have to find some bullets. But there we go. The long drive has continued. We are okay for now. Got a little bit close at times. But we are okay. Go away, you rabbity bugger. Oh god, super speed rabbit is coming for us. Go away. I don't want to waste all the revolver bullets, although I'm wasting all of the uh, BB pellets on this one, which I can't seem to hit for the life of me. Okay, super... Oh no, wait, maybe I shouldn't have shot, maybe I should just let it super speed carry it away from here. Go away! Please. <laughs> that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to not die to a rabbit at the very end. Oh, it's crashed and is gone. Cool. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time. A goodbye.